Welcome to day five of our Novena in honor of our Mother of Perpetual Help. Day five, praying with the icon of our Mother of Perpetual Help, an icon of devotion, an icon impelling us to mission. Our Novena Prayer. Mother of Perpetual Help, with the greatest confidence we, be, we come before your holy picture to beseech your intercession. We think of you, Mother, at the foot of the cross. Your heart must have bled to see your son in agony, but your joy was great when he rose from the dead, victorious over the powers of evil. Mother of Sorrows, pray for us in this time of trial. Help us not to lose heart. Intercede for your people who are afflicted with coronavirus. Comfort your people who are vulnerable and anxious. Protect health care workers who put their lives at risk. Inspire our leaders to make good decisions. Change our hearts so that we may act responsibly. Teach us to trust in God's love and mercy and to share with you the joy of having courageously faced up to the challenges of life. Amen. From the Gospel according to Luke. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went in haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. Praying with the icon of our Mother of Perpetual Help, icon of devotion, icon impelling us to mission. Trusting your hands of perpetual help will hold us as you hold the Christ child who runs into your care. We overflow with gratitude for the manifold expressions of compassion and unity from our human family and first responders during this corona coronavirus pandemic. We pray to you. Prayers of Petition. For whom or for what do you pray? Loving Mother, help my family and those families around the world that are wounded and needing healing spiritually, physically, mentally, and emotionally, so that they may be able to find the courage and perseverance to live their lives worthy of God's mercy and love. Submitted by Margaret Almond from Toronto, Ontario. Our Lady of Perpetual Help, please ask your Son to open our hearts and receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit and the grace and wisdom to put those gifts into action, especially during these times of uncertainty, despair, anger, and frustration. Using the gifts will help all of us to be more loving and to begin making progress for the reforms needed to help our broken world. Submitted by Mickey O'Connor from Concord, North Carolina. And we pause so you can add your own intentions. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of virgins, our mother. To you do we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy hear us and answer us. Amen. Prayers of Thanksgiving. For whom or for what do you give thanks today? Our Lady of Perpetual Help, I am thankful for your love and protection. I am especially thankful for the gift of increased tolerance during this time of pandemic. You have helped me to see and value the opinions of others, and in so doing I have become more loving. I am thankful that I am learning through your Son to do or say nothing before considering if it will be pleasing to our Father and will serve a useful and good purpose. Submitted by Mickey O'Connor from Concord, North Carolina. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to set aside our run-on sentences, lives, 
so that we might rediscover the breathtaking beauty of the sunrise and the world it receives anew each day. Submitted by John Davenport from Tucson, Arizona. We pause for a moment so that you can add your own intentions. Mother of perpetual help, we who call on your most powerful name, thank you for the graces we have received through your intercession and for hearing our prayers today. For God, who is mighty, has done great things through you, and God's mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. Amen. May the Lord Jesus Christ, Son of Mary of perpetual help, be with you to defend you, within you to sustain you, before you to lead you, behind you to protect you, and above you to bless you all the days of your life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>